Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about concrete. There's a lot of guys that are constantly calling concrete the wrong thing or trying to use it for the wrong purpose and it's driving me insane. So we're going to talk about exactly what concrete is and what cement is because a lot of guys get those really confused. They're not exactly interchangeable. Let me explain. Concrete is actually a mix of three things. You got Portland cement, sand, and gravel and also water as like the uh, the chemical agents that actually you know starts making the chemical reaction happen portland cement is actually the really really fine powdery gray material that all concrete is based off of all right sand acts as kind of a binder and the gravel the aggregate is the part that actually really holds the stuff together all right now it's actually a specific type of gravel that you use it's not like pea gravel the real small thin slippery rock that like you, you step in it like on your garden or something and it kind of like shifts everywhere this is like really hard coarse gravel that when you tamp it down actually locks together that adds to the strength of the concrete mix and it's actually mixed in a very specific ratio. One, two, three. One part Portland cement, two parts sand, and one part gravel. And once you get all that mixed up together, and honestly, you don't even need to be like super, super accurate. You can do like a shovel full, you know, okay? So one shovel of this, then two, and then three, and then you add your water. And that's basically what concrete is. A lot of guys mistakenly, you know, go to the store and they say, hey, I need to buy some cement. Cool, not a problem. If I'm the guy working at the store, I'm going to go get you a bag of Portland cement and you're going to look at me like I'm an idiot, but you're the one that asked for that, all right? So kind of, you know, try to, to get that, that terminology straight so you're actually working with the right materials. Now, there are a couple different versions of concrete and obviously a couple different brand names. There is Quickcrete, there is Sackcrete, and a bunch of other ones, all right? But those are the two most popular ones, or at least the, uh, the two that I'm, you know, most familiar with. You have what's called sand topping mix, all right? Sand topping mix is literally concrete or the concrete mix without the gravel, okay? So it's the Portland cement or, yeah, the Portland cement and the sand mixed together. What that is used for is if you're doing, like, say, a shower pan where you have to go from, like, you know, two inches down to zero. You're trying to, you know, taper it in towards the drain. You don't want the, the aggregate, the rocks, to get in the way so, you, you know, when you're trying to smooth it down. That's when you would use the, uh, the sand topping mix. Or if you have, like, some cracks to fill on your driveway or something, sand topping mix is really good for that because you don't have to worry about the gravel, you know, chunks getting in the way. You also have the 5K or the uh, 5,000 PSI rated concrete. That basically has some extra chemicals in it, some hardeners that make that concrete a lot more strong. You have the crack resistant concrete. Now, a lot of misconceptions about the, uh, the crack resistance. When you buy it in the store, oftentimes you'll pick up the bag and the bag feels solid as a rock. And you know people complain, oh, this is already cured, this is already set up. No, it hasn't. Um, more than likely it hasn't. Uh, there have been, been times where if it gets rained on or left outside, then yeah, that could be an issue. Um, but nine times out of ten, it's still good. You just kind of have to like break it up like, you know, a bag of ice. You know, hitting it with a hammer doesn't work. Kind of, you know, hit it on the ground a little bit. Not where you're going to like break the bag open, but you got to break it up like, you know, break it up a bag of ice. Um, what it has in it is like tiny tiny little fibers that are in it okay now a lot of guys that oftentimes they're from like the northern states i'm down in florida um they'll have what's called like basically like mini little pieces of rebar they're like yay long and they're like these big like i don't know fibers i guess but they're like like toothpicks they're kind of like toothpicks and i think about it um but a little bit thinner and they have that mixed into them the fiber in the crack resistant, they're almost like little hairs, all right? They're very, very hard to see. They're very, very small, but they do a hell of a job. Um, some of the uh, uh, strongman stuff that I've made, uh, like the big Hussafel stone, that big 230-pound block that you, you, know, you pick up and walk around with it, I actually made that with a mix of the uh, Pro Finish 5K, the, the 5,000 strength, and a mix of the crack resistance, all right? Because when you drop that thing, you don't want that thing to break because you know you spend a whole lot of time building these stones or you know working on your driveway or patio or whatever. You want this, you know you want those things to last and you know look good for a long time. So that's when you would do something like that. 
And finally, you have the fast-setting concrete. Now, the fast-setting concrete can come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, it's, you know, if you decide to use the crackers, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the fast setting, it's a really good product because, just like it says, it sets a lot faster than the normal type of concrete. Um, it has some other chemicals that are in it that make it cure a lot faster. All right, so this stuff can actually start curing within 30 minutes, depending on how much water, depending on the, the temperature, the climate, humidity, blah, blah, blah. But it can set up really, really quick. Another cool thing about it is you can actually, like say you're doing like a fence, you can put that stuff in dry without having to mix it first. Walk over with a water hose, get it wet, walk away, and you're done. Okay, so that's kind of a, a, a cool reason to get it. Keep in mind that oftentimes it's twice as much as just the regular concrete, all right? Me personally, I like just doing with the regular concrete. I'll go ahead and mix it in the bucket or, you know, a big pail or something. I don't mind doing that and then pour it in that way, all right? So hopefully this can kind of clear up some of the uh, misconceptions and uh, the misinformation about what Portland cement is and concrete and kind of sort of how it's used. All right. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, and groans, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.